Hey there everyone and welcome back to Google Guru. So yesterday the Google Drive team shared a nice little tip on Google Plus about easy auto correction tips in Google Docs, presentations, and drawings. So this allows you to auto correct some text into a symbol or some other type of text. So the most noticeable example of this is for fractions. So if you're typing fractions a lot, you probably noticed that whenever you type two thirds, for example, it'll auto correct into this fractions format. This is also great for other types of symbols. So for example, if you're using a copyright symbol, often you can just type a parentheses, C, close parentheses, and it will auto correct into this copyright symbol. So a lot of these are preset by Google inside of Docs, Presentations, and Drawings. So to access this, you can go to Tools, Preferences, and then here you'll see a list of these auto-corrected symbols here. So like I mentioned, there is Copyright, Arrow, some Fractions, and then a couple other arrows down here. Uh, trademark is another great one as well. You also have the option to create your own. So I found this is a great use for shorthand. So if you're a student and you're taking notes in class and you have your own system of writing shorthand, this can be a really great way for you to transfer that shorthand into normal text. So just to give you an example, a lot of the times when I'm writing documents, I just refer to Google Guru as GG. So I can say replace GG with Google Guru. Now one thing to note is that this, if you are using text like I have here, it's going to mirror the capitalization of the replace text. So for example, if I say GG space, it'll give me Google Guru in all lowercase. And conversely, if I say GG capitalized, it will give me Google Guru in all capitals. So that's just something to keep in mind. Like I said, this is great for shorthand, and I'm sure there's plenty of other use cases for you guys out there. So if you guys have any questions about this auto corrections tip, please leave us a comment in the section below the video. Thanks.